Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of T-Dog RC. We're back in the loft, back on the bench and today we're going to be doing a build video of this which is the Jura Fly Goblin from Hobby King. I'm just getting this out of the way. So I've got myself a fresh pack of foam tack which is good because I had a bit of a nightmare with my last batch. Um, I'm going to be trying one of these receivers uh, in this, which is a Jumper R1. Um, it's a nice little receiver from Jumper, nice and compact, S Plus only. Um, this is basically works on the FreeSky protocol, so um, it runs on FreeSky D16. Uh, and I'll be connecting it to the Zoe HD Copilot, because um, this has an S Plus input. So, yeah, Jurafly Goblin, it's a little bit of a contrast um, to the Bixler, which I've been uh, having a, a good sort of play around with, if you've seen some of my, um, the build video, of my maiden flight video, etc. for that. Um, that's nice and serene, relaxing flight, um, you know, it really enjoyable, whereas the Goblin, well, that is also going to be really enjoyable, but um, that's going to be, I, I imagine, absolutely manic and super fast. Um, which is going to be good fun as well, of course. But uh, yeah, two completely different planes, but uh, good to good to have the contrast. But both of them are good fun in their own ways. So I'm looking forward to getting the um, Goblin in the air and having some serious speed uh, and fun out of that. If this is the first time that you've found my channel, um, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm trying to build the channel. I'm trying to build my subscriber list. So if you could please click on the subscribe button Give me a thumbs up put any comments in the comments box and i'll respond to them if you want to ask any questions about what i'm doing if you're thinking of buying one um, and also hit the bell button and you'll get alerted whenever i release a new video so let's get stuck in
Hi guys, so that's the initial build complete. Um, it went together really quick, no major issues to report. Um, it feels a bit strange gluing wings on, that's not something I've done before, normally always um, screw the wings in. Um, but, you know, plenty of glue on there, I've used foam tack as you can see, um, and I can't see any reason uh, why, why you know the, the wings would come off um, unless you were inverted and pulled down really sharply um, which you, you're you probably not going to do um, I suppose like a, an inverse loop or something like that you could be putting a fair bit of strain on the uh, wings but I don't think uh, many people are going to be doing you know too many things like that but the way everything locks in so like the way the tail uh, locks in is really nice so even though you gl you glue in the tail on it, it almost locks itself into place without even having any glue um, and feels really solid so I'm, I'm impressed with that um, all I've got left to do is hook the um, the rear horns up to the uh, elevator I've done the ailerons that was a real faff I've got to say like swapping the ball uh, ball joints over because they've they'd actually um, glued the um, the nuts onto the ball joints so they don't come off um but then you you know they're saying in the instructions you need to take them off so um that was that was a bit of a pain and that you know that added a good 10 minutes onto the build really which is not the end of the world but it's just frustrating when they've already done it but then you've got to redo it again uh, but other than that it's gone together really well uh, what i've done as well in here is um i've just put a little light ply shelf in there um, which fits perfect for the uh, Zo HD. If you had a slightly chunkier receiver, I think you would struggle to get it in there because I think it might be a bit too high. Um, but I think from what I've seen, people are pushing the batteries right up to the front, so you could put a receiver here potentially. Um, this fits here absolutely perfect, um, so I'll just be sticking that on. And then I've tested, which you probably saw in the video, I just plugged a couple of cables in uh, and put the canopy on and the canopy fits absolutely fine. And I think they're actually going into this little recess here. So it's almost made to measure, which is really good. Um, so yeah, the reason I'm using this, uh, as always, is um, for the hand launch feature. Um, and because this is such a small, fast plane, easy to get dis in, uh, disorientated, um, if I get any problems I can flick it into return to home mode and it will level the plane and just circle around uh, above me. So, uh, you know, I always think in this sort of a plane it, it's got two really good reasons to uh, to use it. And then this little receiver, the jumper, I will probably... I don't know, that can go anywhere really. I'll, I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll, it has to plug into here and then I'll probably just hot glue it onto here, probably like that. Um, so that'll fit in there quite nicely. And then that's it, it's ready to fly. So um, yeah, nice simple build, looks the business. I really like the way it looks um, with the colours, um, really uh, striking. Um, also glued the plate on the bottom let me just show you that without hitting anything so that's gone on really nicely as well nice and flush um, just add a bit of protection on the bottom there um, I think that's about it really going to take the prop off and just get that balanced because um, on the videos I've seen it's really noisy and, and a couple of other people have recommended balancing it but uh, yeah um, next job is to chuck it in the air and uh, give it some beans so once again really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos um, hope you've enjoyed this video hope you found it useful um, any comments that you want to uh, make please please add them at, um, at the bottom and I will try to answer them for you if you've got any questions about the model uh, maybe you're thinking of buying one and as ever if you haven't already please like and subscribe that would really help me out i really appreciate it there'll be a link as well to this in the description which if you buy it through that link um i get a bit of a um well some credit to spend in the hobby T hobby king store which obviously helps me buy more models to help do more videos so thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon